BJP Minister Ramesh Arora's statement that Momo should be banned given the fact that they are life-threatening has evoked its own reactions given its bizarre nature. The only good that has come from it is that it has paved the way for us to tackle two real issues with the Momo that need to be addressed for its betterment. This has been the ticket to Tibet, Nepal and Bhutan for so many people across Delhi who are yet to travel there. However, it has been felt that the size of the Momo at street side vendors has been decreasing over time. Since these are the ones that cater to the mass, the fact that there are restaurants across the city that serve the larger ones does not apply here. That was not always the case. This was a very bad thing that slowly and steadily the size of the momos, it got smaller and smaller. Ultimately, it is shrinking day by day and day by day and the cost is same. In fact, it is increasing. Lately what is happening is momos have become a staple diet in the country now. Even a small child is asking for a momo now. And what you find on the street is something like a 40 rupees or 30 rupees a plate. And you can't give it because the chicken kima is almost 250 to 300 rupees kg. How can you do that? I don't understand. Because the costing itself is around 80 to 90 rupees per plate. I don't know. There is something fishy in it. I will say size is not going down, but new innovative, um, you can say shapes have come around. And you can, uh, if you are saying Hindi, it's gujia kind of shape. So I think as per the demand, and as per the price bracket also, they want to keep the same price and because of the expense and all, so they are keeping the smaller size. Another issue to be debated is the inclusion of paneer in the momo, something that will make the creators of this dumpling turn in their grave, just like old McDonald would when he comes to know that there's a mixed spicy paneer. It is an open secret ingredient in most parts of India. Food items that were never visioned with it between them have had to succumb to the paneer lobby to survive in this vegetarian paradise, even the little momo. Paneer momo is important for North India or some other parts of India where the vegetarian population is higher. You know, because there's so many times we have uh, restricted or barred to eat non-veg during Navratras or maybe Tuesdays, Thursdays, whatever. Paneer momos I don't like. <laughs> And they are not supposed to be like it because they don't make any combination with the momos. Momo should not lose its natural form. I don't even think there is a need for a veg momos. One should have only chicken momos. Paneer momo, the main thing is if you see that if I have a girl who is a vegetarian and she still enjoys a momo, so she wants a momo and we have a paneer momo, a vegetable momo. So this is the only reason. Those who have tasted the paneer momo tell us that some of them are done to such perfection that the difference between them and chicken is hard to tell. It is merely an ethical one given that both are sources of protein. A need seems to be growing for the momo to return to its original both in size and flavour.